natural now. Okay? Afternoon, Miss Tuttle. Norman. I managed to get those stains out of your party dress. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, anything to go? Not today. Okay. Well, then I'll see you next week. Okay? Oh! No, it's all right. Thank you again, Norman. Bye. We're going to make it. We are. Phone calls, delivery boys, these people staying inside all day. Now somebody's going to get wise to it. Look, it's been said before, we are in this situation because you left power. Which saved all three of our lives, which has also been said before. But yeah, Ellen, I came over to talk to Ben because I... Hello, Mr. Puss. What is this? I'm sorry, Carl. Well, come on in, come on in, join the party. Uh, it's dead since we're gonna get Pa back. You need the truth. We looked everywhere. Every main road's been blocked, every farm and house and area's been checked. They gotta be in the city somewhere. That's right. If that's true, there's only one reason why. They're coming back to get the farm. Hey, Doc. How's he doing? His blood pressure's lower than ever. I think he's bleeding again. All right. Let's move him to the hospital in Ansley, then. Buford, I told you, if we move him, he's dead for sure. Sorry, Buford. Didn't mean to snap at you. That's okay, Doc. I know you didn't. You're a good man, Buford. Sometimes too good. Mill County Sheriff's Office, Litton speaking. Yes, just a moment, please. Buford, it's that man again. Um, call county, see if you can get a trace. Sheriff Puss is speaking. What can I do for you? Clell Brewster, Sheriff. I figure that name means something to you by now. All right, go on. I'm listening. Good, because I always felt what the law needed was more understanding cops. I want to see my daddy. Well, he's right here. Good again, Pusser. So is yours. You hear me? Said I got your father here with my brother and some others, and, uh... Let me speak to him. Glad to. Son? Dad? Sort of put my number 12s in the middle of it this time, didn't I? Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. Where are you? I'm a... Dad? 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 Look, he's sitting with me, he's relaxing, he's resting the spell, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be down there in a few minutes, I wanna see my daddy. Any trouble, I want you to take care of, you hear? All right. Nothing, pusser. I got three other people here. Aside from your father, Sandy, cute sheriff, your things you're thinking of, you just forget him. 
Okay. That was Clell Brewster on his way over here to see his daddy. I'll be back in half an hour. What have you done? You'll figure something. I got faith in you, TJ. Tell him. After I leave, you keep your eyes out windows, front, back, and sides, and you see anything you don't like, use them to deal with it any way you like. Well, um, you tell Daddy for me that... I uh, tell him, little brother, don't you worry, because he's going to be here soon with us. You got my word of honor on that. Right. You, you, take your belts off. Tie their hands behind them with them. Oh, Sit over there. Go. Move! I told you they'd come for me. Yes, sir, you did. You just wait and see what my Clell's got working. I'm proud of my son, Sheriff. Mighty proud. I know you are. That sure doesn't make him right. Buford? What? Uh, <coughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. There's still there's a piece or two missing. Look at it. Okay, Sheriff's Office, Linton's... Oh, hi, Mike. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. Hello, Sam. I got the kitchen all cleaned up and half my homework done. Well, good for you, I guess. Uh, what are you telling me all this? Because Grandpa ain't home yet to start supper. Well, listen, it's still pretty early. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't make the game. I, I just couldn't get away from here. How did it go? 12-3, we lost. Well, maybe next time, huh? Yeah. Well, Clay Tuttle couldn't pitch. He got sick. Boy, his old man, gee, he is a real pain. Ate me out and nearly bit Grandpa's head off when I tried to get him to let Yeah, me... listen, uh, I'm going to have to get off the phone now. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Grandpa went over to Clay's house to talk to his father after the game. He went over to Ben Tuttle? Yeah, I called there. Clay's mom said he left. He should be home by now. My... Dad, what's wrong? Mike, I'm just going to have to get off the phone right now. Are you sure everything's okay? I'll call you later. And don't worry about it. Goodbye, son. Where is he? I hear you're hurting pretty bad. It'd be a lot better, son, when you get me out. How'd you do it? T.J. and Dellum got the sheriff's daddy. Oh, you uh, 
well, never stop giving me cause for pride, will you, boy? You are going to get me out of here. I have a lie to you. All at once, when you was shin high, I took my belt to you. When are we going? Dark tonight. It'll uh, be safer and easier. That and uh, having your father with us should make it pretty simple getting through all the roadblocks. Except for one thing. When do you release the hostages? Listen, mister. I got only one concern. That's my daddy's safety. As soon as we're well away from here, we'll let your father and the others go. Take no faith. Something you ought to know. The doctor tells me that if your daddy is moved, he could die. But <laughs> you're gonna have to do better than that, Buzz. Why? Because it's the truth. Okay, enough talking. Now, this is the way it's gonna be. You get a station wagon, you gas it up, you get a mattress in back from my daddy. You have it out here, outside, 10 o'clock tonight. Another thing. You make sure them roadblocks are gone. Save us both.